it's back to school time! Why are you guys happy? Time for learning! This is a bad thing! And fun! I hate you all. So if you couldn't already tell by the title of the video and the vine at the beginning, it's back to school time. And no, I'm not going to be doing an edgy joke or something related to that, because today we are going to be looking at some terrible back to school videos. Now let me point out a couple of things before I start this video. First of all, I'm not going to be taking a look at all of the cringe compilations videos that are made on school. There's already plenty of those online, including some weeaboo school cringe compilations. So if you want to go check out all of those, just look up the words school cringe on YouTube and there you go. And second of all, Renji247 actually did do a video related to cringy school videos, specifically math, but he sadly deleted the video. The video was out for a while, but he went and deleted it. He did say he was planning on re-uploading it, so if uh, once that gets re-uploaded, I will put it in the description below. We're just going to be going through these videos in order, and let's just see what kind of stuff y'all sent me, because I am really excited to look at all the stuff that y'all sent me related to back to school stuff. You know what, even though I said we're gonna be going through these in random order, let's just start things off with the first reply that I see. The first reply comes to someone that goes by the name Pokabu022, and the video is called How to Be a High Schooler. Oh god, we're gonna be getting into some real stuff now, aren't we? So with that said, let's dive right into the cringe. Listen, I know tomorrow's your first day of high school and you're probably nervous, but don't worry. All you have to do is follow these tips and you'll be fine. Oh boy, the first few seconds of the video and I'm already feeling sorry for this kid. I'm not gonna lie when saying the first day of you going back to a school isn't gonna be your best looking day. Like, I remember I had to move in 2014, I had to go to a different school, and I am being dead serious with saying that my haircut would put Ian Hecox to shame. In any kind of school, whether that's elementary, middle, or high, or even college, the first impressions are always gonna be the most important impressions to that school, because the, all those students are gonna see you and see what's interesting about you and want to become your friend. So if you mess something up or do something bad on that day, that's going to cause a lot of problems. The other kids are going to seem a lot older than you. Yeah, get up around like four, you know, then watch a half hour YouTube motivation. Yeah, Johnson, I told you to buy low and sell high. Learn the different types of students. You have the jock, the preppy one, there's always some nerd, the edgy one, the class mm. clown, and finally, the no show. Has he been to a class at all this year? Oh, and that's another big problem. A lot of these videos relating to school are always going to have some type of thing discussing all the types of students in the school. Even though they rarely make any sense. Like during my time in school, I don't remember seeing any type of emo kid in school. But a lot of people always had to have some kind of emo or edgy kid in that listing. I mean, I wouldn't know since I haven't been to an actual public high school before I started doing homeschool ever since I was in middle because the school systems in my area, I don't really talk about this a lot, but the school systems in my area suck. <laughs> Like, the teachers rarely did anything to stop any kind of harassment. Like, for example, I remember when I broke my arm in 2014, like, I hit the concrete while I was riding my bike. I was going extremely fast and I broke my arm. And all of a sudden, these students thought it was a good idea to run after me. So I had to run to my classroom as fast as I can, and one of them actually stood there trying to trip me over. And I managed to skip past that, I managed to not trip, and I managed to get to my classroom on time, and it was... Oh god, it was intense. And then when I moved out of that school in 2015, moved to a different school, I got to go to the pool at my YMCA, and all of a sudden, not only that I almost drowned, but I got a sunburn that had to take two months to recover. And during that recovery, the teacher at my new school thought it was a good idea to slap my back while I had the sunburn. I'm not making this up. This isn't some type of article from The Onion. This is an actual thing that happened to me. And oh god, it was torturous. Okay, I'm just rambling way too much. Let's just get back to the video. Get to know the different types of teachers. There's the one who thinks she's in control. I'm still waiting. The drama teacher who's most likely a functioning alcoholic. And the teacher who tries to make learning fun. Your arm contains a humorous, but your list is unlappable and serious. Lift and bones until I go delirious. The epidermis protects the internal organs from bacteria. Hashtag science is lit. Develop. Wait, hold up. Reverse that clip for a minute. Hashtag science is lit. You know what? You know what? I'm done. I am seriously done. I, I can't take this anymore. I'm done. I am done with this bullshit. You all don't fucking need me anymore. 
your study habits. I'm so ready for this. I spent the last three weeks studying. Yeah, I seen the textbook over lunch. Huh, somebody in the classroom constantly organizing their pencils. I wonder where I've seen that before. It sounds a bit familiar. Hey, check it out. I wrote all chapter 15 on my arm. We're on chapter 16. <laughs> Your body is gonna go through changes, but don't be ashamed. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of me time. You wanna take just a pea-sized dollop of lotion, apply it to your T-zone, spread it out. Okay, for one, I like that fake out there. Sure, it's an overused one where people think you're gonna bust your nut, but it turned out to be a fake out and it's just some kind of lotion for your face or for your legs or something like that. Sure, it's overused, but it's still pretty funny and they did it successfully. And two, I really like that random cameo of the needle drop there. That was also good and, and kind of shocking because I didn't know that they even got him on there. Like, that's awesome. High school is all about firsts. Like your first relationship. And of course, we all know how it's gonna go. We're not gonna watch the rest. Skip! The first breakup always hurts the most. You'll be okay, man. Yep, I knew it. Because before you know it, it'll be time to graduate. So what happened after high school? Well, you'll go to college where you'll take out loans to pay for classes you're not even sure why you're going to in the first place. Then you'll spend the next eight years unsure of what you want, floating through periods of binge drinking when you realize you don't actually know anything. Every night you'll lie in bed, hoping to fall asleep before you fall apart. Well, dang, this video got a little bit more real than what I thought. I never thought I would see a school video actually discussing about how all the stuff you had to learn in school would end up being useless in your future. I never knew that they would do something like this. I, I, I have to give them some props for doing that. Anyways, enjoy your first day. And that's how the video ends. Oh boy, that was just only one video. There's already plenty of more videos to go through here. There's just one thing I have a fear about when it comes to these videos is that because some of them are, you know, professional made or i.e. made by companies, I'm afraid that they're going to go and copyright claim the video. You know, this video does actually fall on the fair use because I'm criti uh, criticizing it and I'm actually putting my own thoughts into it, but still. The next video we're going to be looking at was submitted by meme underscore shadow and the video is called Terrible Mall Commercial. Oh boy, this video is actually gonna be interesting. I know about this video before, but I want to put my thoughts into it and talk about what I see throughout the video. So with that said, let's dive right into some more cringe! East Hills, we're back to school. Oh god, this is already depressing. Even the merry-go-round in the background is looking depressed. Like, even a merry-go-round can't save this commercial. Denim Come get your backpack. I know this has already been spoken about before, but she actually does look a lot like Miley Cyrus. I could just imagine some kind of alternate universe where before Miley started twerking and before she started doing Hannah Montana, she just sold backpacks. Like it could, I could see some kind of alternate universe happening where she was a backpack seller before she started Hannah Montana. Boots and pants and boots and pants. New shoes. Get yourself an outfit. Oh. I feel so sorry for that woman right now. You could clearly see in her eyes that she was not interested in doing this. I feel, I feel genuinely sorry for her. Denim, boots and pants and boots and pants. Haircut, new shoes. So get yourself back to school with these tails. Haircut. <laughs> They didn't know what to add at the end, so they just used the hair coven. Oh god, that's glorious. Okay, okay, let's just move on to the next one. Back bags, back bags, go get your back back boots and pants and boots and pants. Yes, shoes! <laughs> I've officially lost my sanity. God dang, and I call a lot of other people cringy. I'm the cringy one here. <laughs> So the next one was submitted to us by LFWPG underscore Dan. And the video is called Back to School Trans Commercial 2018 HEB. Oh boy. Uh, the word trends, it just like rings a bell. So I'm actually genuinely scared about what's going to come from this commercial. This is your HEB Back to School Report. 
I'm Mason. And I'm Maddie. This year, it's all about sparkles. And sporty backpacks. So, if we couldn't already tell enough, the commercial is supposed to be some kind of fake news report. And I have to say, they do a really good job parroting or making it look like it was actually a new studio. So, uh, props to the commercial for that, I guess. Let's check in with Sophie from the hall. I'm seeing a lot of sequins, but also a lot of sporty options like Nike and Jansport. But sparkles are everywhere. It's like a disco in here. Oh, I get it. So what they're talking about is these things called sequins. It's that material where one side is one color and then when you wave your hand over it or rub your hand over it, it will be a different color. Honestly, I've seen those before everywhere and honestly, I think they're really cool. Like, this is one of the most interesting things that's come out of this generation so far. Ooh, I love sparkles. Really? Go back to school with H-E-B. A better year starts here. Uh, are these kids actually doing the backpack kid dance? All just because they're talking about backpacks? If it wasn't already forced enough in Fortnite Battle Royale, this is even more forced than that. Uh, insert some random Alley A meme here. Oh wait, I can put him in the tags now that I mentioned his name. The next video was submitted to us by NATO81397994, and the video is called Banned Value City Back to School Commercial. Oh god, if it's banned, then that means it's gonna be bad. Alright, so let's buckle up and let's see what this video has for us. <laughs> the way he said, all right, he just went, all right. <laughs> Here we go. That's right, folks. Get your sneakers for $24.99. It doesn't matter what brand it is. It doesn't matter who made it. Nikes? Who knows? Jordans? Who knows? Just sneakers for $24.99. Wow, oh my god. That's right, folks, in this day and age, anytime you bump into a teenage boy, you get teleported to a different part of the school immediately. It's a part of the law. We have it signed by the FBI. The first millisecond of you bumping into a teenage boy will get you teleported to another side of the school immediately. And apparently in this day and age, girls get aroused by looking at guys that wear jackets that barely fit them. Huh. I've actually never seen an advertisement where a football player doesn't push somebody into a locker. I... I I've never seen the day where this happens. Um... Uh, round of applause, I guess? Oh my god, what kind of face is that? <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 this is wrong. Okay, I'm out of here one more time. I am out. Okay, goodbye everybody. I don't think y'all need me anymore. Now, there was a couple of other videos that a lot of you sent me, but a lot of them I didn't really have much to talk about. So how about we just run through all of the honorable mentions that I have to bring up here. I want to make sure everybody gets a spotlight. This first one comes from an artist friend who I've known on Twitter for a while now, named Jacob Steinberg. And it's a video called Top 5 Back to School Hyper Beast Items for Under $100. This video is literally just nothing but him in a car talking about things you should have to school and make some pretty edgy jokes, bro. So the first thing on the top five, boys, we got the goddamn Supreme AK-47. And another thing they also mentions is a punching bag. This is the Supreme punching bag. And I could see why he would bring that up, especially when it comes to self-defense, because kids nowadays should probably learn about self-defense or karate or things like that to prevent them from getting killed or getting hurt. And there was two users by the name Krabby underscore Sponge and Mr. Action 12 who both sent in cringe compilations about school. And the reason why I didn't add those in here because they're pretty easy targets, especially if they have the word cringe in them. 
Twitter user MemesDDD sent in a back to school shopping Elsa video, and I didn't want to add this in here because I didn't want to get copyright claimed, especially when it comes to Disney Frozen Elsa Spider Man videos. Because on all three videos that I've done on that subject, all of them got copyright claimed. Twitter users SonicTH9005513 and Super Mario CPHR both sent in Staples commercials. They're going back! It's back to school time at Staples! God, I wasn't even born in the 90s, yet that commercial is nostalgic to me, even though I never even watched it! Twitter user SonicKirby1 sent some random cringy commercial for a school that was made by some school student. Have you ever felt like dying? Well, this rodent attraction product is just for you. It attracts any rodent. But the reason why I didn't want to add this in here is because I think it was supposed to be intentionally cringy. And finally, user 44231 Anonymous sent in some random Indian preschool advertisement. Welcome to Small School Junior, India's most advanced preschool chain. You look like a snake! Yes! But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and before I go, I should probably say this. To any of you who's upset about going back to school, just remember that you're one step closer to escaping that 12 to 16 years of prison. But I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on school, and what are your thoughts on all these videos that I talked about? Tell me in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fair and anything else to be, you can submit them via Twitter, Discord, comment section below, or in the community tab. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!